more sophisticated tools. Okay, so what I've got here is a really old vintage thermal singlet that's pure wool. And I've just been laying out my leaves. And today I'm focusing on a spotted pattern using all of the little flower buds of different eucalyptus trees. So these have all come from different trees. I think there's three different trees in here and one set of them has been soaking in the black iron water. Um, this is a fern that's been soaking in the copper pre-mordant bath for about two weeks. And that's going to help bring out the green. And then we've got the yeah, just some various different ones. I'm actually experimenting with these little ones here. They've been boiling in a pot for 25 minutes and I'm just experimenting to see if I can help quicken the pace of them releasing their colour by putting them first in the water to blanch and then on my garment. So I'm not doing a mirrored image today. I'm actually going to top it off with another garment that's cotton that's been soaking in some vinegar. You can get some of some of this beautiful patterning happening on this one. And if not, it's just going to act as a, a barrier to help the, the woolen top make a nice transfer itself. So we can just lay that over. We don't have to be too precious about it. And then because I am going to boil this, I'm going to fold it again and then I'm going to wrap it around a jar. I like to wrap around the jars because they help to conduct the heat and they help to keep the circumference of the roll of the leaf flatter so that you've got more chance with the higher surface area of getting a, a whole um, leaf print as opposed to just a crimpled crunched up one. I'm just going to wrap today with some bamboo silk because my bundle here is going to go in a eucalyptus, um, a pot of eucalyptus that I've had on the stove and so we are going to get some tie dyeing happening here and I want the silk to change colour too so I can use it in a weaving project that I've got going. So we'll just make it nice and secure and use all of our silk so that we've got a nice amount of silk. Okay. Just one more bit going the other way. So now I'm just going to tie that off. I'm going to take that into, into the dye bath. There, this is the eucalyptus bath using some, some of the leaves that I know turn red when I eco print with them. So when you boil them for 45 minutes, they start to release their beautiful red hues and you can use them as a dye bath as well. So I'm just going to experiment today with putting my bundle inside the eucalyptus dye bath and we'll see what kind of colours we get. So here is my top now that's come out of the eucalyptus bath and you can see that it has gained some amazing red tones and where it's been wrapped it has left some markings and the cotton tea that's underneath doesn't look like it's taken much of the red it seems more like it's taken on more of the iron that's been in the environment of that cooking pot which would have come from the, the other leaves that have been soaked. So let's unroll and see what we get. So that's really nice where the jar has been. It's left a really clear panel. It actually would have been really great to have put some 
leaves in here as well. I forgot though. It's okay. And then, oh, that's pretty. So it did work onto the white t-shirt, the white children's t-shirt. It's got some nice little markings. It's really different to see how it works on the cotton as opposed to how it works on the wool. You can really see the strong contrast in difference. The twinning of um, the imprints that are being achieved on the cotton versus what's being achieved over on the wool. So you can see the reds that are there are only coming from the leaves that have been directly placed and only ever so slightly is that coming through. There's a nice marking from the fern. Oh, and that's nice, it's gone through to the reverse as well. So that looks, looks really pretty with all the different greens coming around the neck like a frill. That makes a really nice children's top, really organic. And that's just on cotton elastin, and um, you can see the reverse. So I'll hang that up to dry, and then let's see how the fern. There's not much fern transfer happening here, and nothing from that leaf. That looks nice. And these leaves. Were the, these were the ones that I had pre-soaked. I really don't think it's made any difference at all to the process given the amount of time that I had it in the boil. So this has got lots of lovely contrasting colours. This is also a children's size now that it's been shrunk down. And um, you can see that where each of these um, little nuts, little flower buds has been, it's left a little a little dash and a little mark and it's different for each so the ones that were soaked in iron water have left little green and grey marks and the ones that had no more denting have just left some little orange star marks yeah and what's really nice about working with the texture of the wool is it leaves, um, it's, in, it's embedded itself in there, so it's actually leaving this really beautiful 3D effect, which it will stay there until you wash and tumble dry it. So, I mean, usually with these garments, you want to be able to um, wear them as long as you can before washing, because they are, to some degree, ephemeral, which means that they will break down and go back, go back into the earth and um, yeah, working with natural dyes as well without using chemical mordants also means that it's um, it's got a life of its own. It's it, you know it might not look the same in ten years or after ten washes. You just have to experiment with it. Yeah, but generally speaking. The, the works that you make on wool with eucalyptus are very hard biting. The eucalyptus um, yeah, takes very well to the wool and with, per with permanence. So this is covered in lots of eucalyptus. This beautiful, beautiful thermal bodice. And beautiful cotton elastin t-shirt both equally different and equally pleasing yeah I really like this concept of laying out all of your beautiful foliage and then laying on top another garment to pick up all of that work that's on there because it's um yeah it's a shame to let it go to waste in the dive bath when you could be sandwiching it in to make yeah, make another image at the same time and who knows these could even be um, worn together